Yes! <laughs> you know, you, you could have said something rather than just kind of sneaking up behind me and yelling, you, yes! Oh, sorry, man. It's all right. You have to make the excitement for yourself. <laughs> oh, my God, where is it? Where is it? I got the first. I've been bit once already by a Doberman. It's the best part of the dog's day when the UPS man comes. <laughs> there was one place I was actually trying to make friends with the dog. It was a schnauzer or something. You know, thing. I had to leave because the thing was just barking its little fool head off. You know, <laughs> the thing fell on its side. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> the lady who owned it said, Usually he relapses from barking too much. I should just uh, hit him on the head with my clipboard. But then they go, why did you hit it? The dog's not going to hurt you. And so the lady is jumping on me and it's scratching me. So, you know, no one's looking. You kick him down the street. Oh, sure. Even if it's just, even if all it's doing is following you, you can get it when you miss a few houses back. So that's a big subject of conversation with us dogs and women. You have a pretty babe on your roof, kind of bright in your day. We have a code we put on the sheet. We put a big Q. It stands for cutie. You have a pretty girl lying in the backyard in a two-piece bathing suit on her stomach, top strapped up and down. If you can scare her just right, she'll jump up. <laughs> oh yeah. To scare them so that they jump up, and you actually get to see them better. To see them better. <laughs> Take some time. Gives you a little something to do. Add some excitement to your day. 